Welcome back to Some Offense Intended. I'm Jeremy Robinson. I am Mike Mick. Uh, um, I'm out of it. I slept. Not enough today. Yeah. Yeah, you seem tired. Yeah. Well, I want to tell you a story I saw. All right. Um, this has us both beat, first of all. And you mostly for the, because you've told stories about eating things that are not quite fresh. Yeah. Well, this guy, um, LA Beast on YouTube, apparently, he went ahead and uh, had some um, zigzag Cheetos sent to him, which I'm not even familiar with. Zigzag Cheetos. Yes, they're from the 90s. Huh. Apparently, they were at a store in a locker that had a lock on it for a long time, since the 90s. So somebody broke the lock off and found them, and they sent them to him. So these these Cheetos are over thirty years, yeah. and uh, he eats them on his on his YouTube channel. <laughs> and he's like, "Yeah, they, they, for, he's like, I taste burning." That's one of the things he said. I taste burning. Yeah, yeah. So he eats them, and then and then he looks at the bag, and he's like, "Oh, wait, there's a freshness guarantee on this." This is where he has me beat. So he calls the eight hundred number. <laughs> and he talks to this person, and he tells him, "Yeah, um, he tells him about you know what he ate and all that." And uh, he ended up having to send her a picture of the bag because <laughs> she didn't believe him. Yeah, <laughs> so he sends a picture of the bag, and, and they actually because it's owned by PepsiCo, they actually send him four coupons for free replacement items. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for eating thirty-year-old Cheetos. Wow. I've never gotten coupons for something like that. I've gotten a lot of coupons imagine, for free stuff. But, I imagine that would taste like packing peanuts. Oh, it would not be good. But yeah, but he ended up not using the coupons. He put them. He put them all in a frame with the, the bag of Cheetos, the letter from PepsiCo, <laughs> and the coupons were all in there. I'm like, at least use one of the coupons. You can have three; it'll still be fine. Well, I mean, you could probably use them online, and still keep them. No, I don't think so. Oh. I think they're in store. At least all the ones I've ever gotten have always been in store. Okay. You just take them, you know. Yeah, that's them. that's pretty old. Yeah. For Cheetos. Yeah. I mean, for any food, but. But Cheetos, zigzag Cheetos, or something like that I'm not even familiar with. Yeah, it's, it doesn't ring a bell. I know there's always been different flavors and, and styles and everything, but yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but uh, yeah, at 30 years old, I, I don't I don't care what flavor they are. I'm, they're they're going to be gross. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but speaking of going to the store, I didn't have any coupons, but I went to the store. And as I'm walking in, I go, literally, I'm walking from the door straight to the Dr. Pepper area. Straight to it. And I'm thinking to myself, maybe I'll get three, maybe four, six packs. Of course, I get two of the area. They have two on the shelf. <laughs> two. One of them is so far back. Like, I had to stand on the shelf and try to lean in to grab it. And I couldn't reach it. I could barely touch it. I couldn't move it. I couldn't get it to me. So then I thought to myself, as I'm getting out of the shelf, because I was literally leaning into the shelf, I thought to myself, there was something long near me that I could just, you know, get and bring it to me. I turn around. What's standing behind me? Somebody decided they didn't want to buy the broom that they brought with them, so they just <laughs> set it in the soda aisle. So I grabbed the broom, pulled the Dr. Pepper towards me. Nice. Yeah, it worked. And yeah. Uh, yeah, after I left, they were out of Dr. Pepper bottles. <laughs> well, it's a good thing it was all the way in the back, or else they would have been out sooner. Well, there was one right at the front, basically on the edge, and then the other one's all the way in the back. <laughs> Somebody was reaching for one and, and had pushed it or something. Or maybe one of the employees was like, ooh, I'll show them. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'll make sure I leave people with some Dr. Pepper. Well, or they were just facing it, and they're like, yeah, I'm not reaching back there to fucking bring it up to the front. Well, he probably left the broom there so we could get it later. <laughs> <laughs> I was not going to be denied. I was getting at least two six-packs, and I did. Nice. It was a good thing. That's, I don't think I've bought soda in a long time, like at the store. Like at fast food places, like I'll get it every now and then. I, I can I think of one time that I, I know that you did, and it's been months. It's been towards the, the beginning of our podcast. What was it? I had the coupon for the free pizza from Little Caesars. We went to uh, CVS and bought two liter bottles. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely not an often thing for me. No, it is for me, though. <laughs> I drink less than I used to, but I still drink it. 
especially when I'm eating something. It depends on what I'm eating, but it goes really well with it. So I think the groundhog died. Oh, yeah, it did. Cause it's not coming back out. Yeah. Yeah, it snowed again yesterday while I was at Walmart. Yep, I walked out this morning and there was snow on fucking everything. Yeah, it was that's, snowing way early in the morning. That's why I don't have the trucks yet, because the guy that was going to help me, he's like, yeah, the trailer's stuck because it's all fucking snowed in. Yeah. Oh, huh, well, that's fun. We'll do it tomorrow. Around 6 a.m., I saw a lot of snow outside. Yeah. That was not good. I'm tired of snow. I'm tired of cold. I don't mind the cold as much. Oh, I hate the cold. <laughs> the cold is what makes <coughs> makes snow. Uh, I, th- I think that has more to do with precipitation. Yeah, but if it was warmer, the precipitation is called rain, not snow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm tired of going outside, walking the dog, and having just cold. I can, I can get that. Yeah, no, it's... It I can't just say to her, oh, it's too cold. Hold it. It needs to change. I don't know fucking when. It's April. It's April, yeah. And it's still fucking snowing. I mean, I understand on, on April Fool's when you snow. You can say April Fool's, but yeah, we're past April Fool's. Yeah, a couple yeah. days. Yeah. So we need something different. I need some warm weather. That's. I feel like... There's not as many April Fool Day jokes as there used to be. No, I didn't do any. Because, like, different companies, will, like, Razor always does some. The keyboard and mouse company. Yeah. Like, they'll always do. I think they this year they did, like, the Razor Razor. It might have been, mm-hmm. like, a, a shaving razor that they joked about releasing. Like, different companies used to do all the time, like, flood the Internet with... Oh, yeah. Well, I saw um, ideas. the cookie place, you know, I like to go to, Crumble Cookies. They uh, they did something. They did, uh, instead of doing a cookie, they showed, like, a, um, a dog food thing that was shaped like a cookie. Yeah, that's the flavor of cookie. <laughs> and they had a dog eating it, so, yeah. Huh. I don't want a dog food flavored cookie. No. They do have some good uh, cookies out this week. They've got... um. Uh, carrot cake cookie. That could be pretty good. And lemon. Those are the two I'm mostly interested in. They have to run out of flavors. Well, they, they eventually point. recycle them. Yeah. They go back through. But, yeah. that, you're always telling me about like the new flavors this week. I'm like, it's got to start recycling. So. Oh, yeah. At some point. I'm hoping it does soon because I want the waffle cookie again. That was fucking <laughs> awesome. It, it's, like, it's literally like eating a waffle. It even had the, the what would be a dab of butter on it, but it's frosty and it tasted Oh, my God, amazing. And it came with a side of maple syrup you pour over the cookie. <laughs> it even had the pattern of a waffle on it. It was so good. That's great. Oh, I would go get it. Right. I, I would have gone there today and gotten it if they had that today. <laughs> but right now they're doing kind of uh, the colors of you know Easter. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's April. I know. I bought some Easter candy yesterday. Just because I like candy. Yeah. I got some jelly beans. Other than buying like Reese's cups, I got some Reese's cups. I the eggs. I haven't bought candy in a long time either. I bought the uh, Reese's eggs. Uh, I actually got the white chocolate. I don't. I'm not a massive fan of white chocolate. I like the Reese's white chocolate. It's really good. I just wanted something a little bit different than because I, I I get the regular Reese's all the time. Yeah. I also got a Reese's with the Reese's puff cereal in it. I don't. I like both of those. Yeah. It can't be horrible. It's definitely going to be better than the fucking potato chip one. Oh, yeah. I was so just, I, w- I had high hopes for the potato chip one. I did not. I did. But, I um, don't know why. <laughs> um, but I did see something at Maverick when I was picking up my Dr. Pepper on the way. Um, they have a flavor they brought back. They used to have a long time ago, they had Reese's Crunch, which had Reese's with little peanuts in it. It was delicious. I saw it in the store again today. I didn't know that was a thing. It was a thing. It was a long time ago. But now I, I, I was on my way out, so I didn't get it. Otherwise, I would have picked up a package of them today if I just saw it on the way in. Huh. So I was a little disappointed that it was on the way out. I don't want to have to get in line again. <coughs> had one person at self-checkout at the get place. I don't know what she was doing. She was ringing up all sorts of shit that she wasn't buying. She just scanned everything in sight. And pretty much. She had a lot of stuff there, but she didn't have $38 worth of stuff. Just walking around. Beep. 
beep. The, the lady beep, had to cancel beep. it and so she could re-ring it. It's like it was ringing all the, the impulse buy stuff right in front of the, of the self-checkout <laughs> or something. <laughs> so, of course, she had to stop what she was doing and stop helping the person that was in line ahead of me so she could go over and do this. Yeah. So that took that much longer. And the other person, she's doing her deposit or something or she's counting her drawer so she can't help anybody yet. And the other self-checkout line isn't up. <laughs> right. And then when she gets back over to the guy that she was helping, he gets his stuff and goes. I'm like, what, what, why are you still standing there if you're already done? Are you waiting to see the end of this this, this fantastic story of Jesus Christ. what's going to happen at self-checkout? <laughs> get your Budweiser and get your ass out the door. He was buying Budweiser. If you, if you I, didn't I gathered that. Budweiser and uh, Marlboro Lights. Breakfast of Champions. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I recognize the pack. And Budweiser, I, you know, it says Budweiser on it. Yeah. <laughs> and pretty good eye size. Letter. Yeah, it was a 12 pack, though. Yeah, that's... Wait for someone to excuse you from the line. Yeah. Get back, like, okay, uh, bye. Go. Go. Goodbye. You're free. And then the person who was, had to get everything canceled, she went back in the aisle to get more stuff with all of her crap piled up in front of it. I'm like, I could have done that. I could have gone over there and been done. I'm buying two bottles. Do you know how long it takes me to buy two bottles? Not very long. No. But I I, yeah, I prefer to go through the through the part where the, somebody's helping you because they can give you a bag. You don't have to request a bag. Because yeah. they don't always have bags sitting next to that self-checkout. Not often. And I have to interrupt them from helping the guy with the Budweiser to give me a bag, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's – normally it's – I haven't seen too many issues at self-checkout at Maverick. Yeah. Like every other fucking store self-checkout has issues. Yeah. For sure. I hate the – put your item in the bagging area. It's in the fucking bagging area. <laughs> I, I don't – and then, then the thing will go and call for somebody. Yeah. And they'll be busy – on their phone or talking to somebody. Or just ignoring you. Or just ignoring me, yeah. Well, I was at, I was at, I was at a store recently and the guy, the guy who was having trouble checking out, he, I just, I can't get over it. He's waving the guy down. He's not putting call assistant. He's going like <laughs> this shit. I'm like, there's a button there. Just push it. Turns on a little red light above your head. Well, waving him down might help faster. Oh, it didn't. <clears throat> He thought maybe he was waving at somebody. I don't know, because the, the, the worker was looking right in his direction, <laughs> sees his hand going like this, he just turned around and went back to doing something else. So I'm like, do you think he's waving at somebody behind you? No, he's calling for you. He needs your fucking help. That's he didn't know how to bring up a produce item. Oh, uh, like you hit the produce button on the fucking screen. Yeah, and then you look up the item. Yeah, wow. Yeah, I think it was like an avocado or an orange or something. I can't remember which one. Those are two very different colors. Yes, very different colors. <laughs> similar texture. Were, I, you, were you feeling it and not looking at it? I think... I think <laughs> well, I think he might have had one of these. I think he had both, actually. No, that's why he couldn't look them up. It wasn't, they weren't the same thing. Yeah. Like, oh, what is this? Why can't I find this orange avocado? <laughs> <laughs> this is the same fruit, isn't it? Yeah, it's exactly the same. One's just not as ripe. That's why it's green. <laughs> and slightly odd-shaped. Which that reminds me. I, I showed you the picture. Like, uh, somebody had, like, some mayonnaise and some other shit. Just, like, they were walking with the groceries and dropped it. Oh, decided yeah. to just fuck it. Yeah, on the ground by your apartment. Yeah. Well, I was walking recently and something similar again. But it was a big cardboard box. And it was, like, on the ground and sideways. And you could see the stuff had fallen out. Like, there was a um, there was celery. There were uh, there was a can of tomato. There was uh, a can of spinach. There's just and some fruit. Maybe and, it was a homeless person's kitchen, Mike. Well, <laughs> it's in a cardboard box. Well, like one it of the oranges was eaten. Add on. One of the oranges was eaten. <laughs> yeah, it, it was probably the deluxe uh, edition. It was, it was home. <laughs> it just it seems weird to me to just leave something like that out there. And what's he going to cook? Canned spinach. I mean, it's fucking Reno. Is he Popeye? Is Popeye homeless in Reno? <laughs> just gonna squeeze the can and eat the spinach it's gonna fly up and yeah 
His arms are going to do cool shit. <laughs> yeah. I can see that happening. That's... I miss cartoons that were just old shit. Which reminds me, speaking of old cartoons, I, I, uh, I turned on the TV early in the morning, and uh, they had a marathon on Cartoon Network of Looney Tunes. Nice. When I say Looney Tunes, I mean they had the old Looney Tunes. And it didn't seem to be censored. Like, there was a time I turned on TV and saw some uh, Looney Tunes, and, like, when the Wiley Coyote would fall, it seemed to start to fall, and then it wouldn't show, his land, it wouldn't show that he landed. What? Yeah, it was weird. And there was explosions, Christ. like he, he glued the dynamite to his hand and it yeah. still exploded. They didn't cut it out, it was all in. What's wrong with people that you I can't even know. show a fucking cartoon character well, I bought, splatting? Yeah. Well, it's, everybody has to be so protective and careful. Because they, you know, they have dumb kids. They'll complain about all that and then they'll buy their fucking eight-year-old GTA 5. Yeah. What's the fucking point? Yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, I remember when um, Deadpool came out, and somebody was complaining. They're like, "I can't believe they they came out with this movie like this." And I'm like, "Well, it's rated R, you know that, right?" I'm like, <laughs> and then I'm like, "Yeah, there was a lot of violence in it." She's like, "I'm not. Even, I don't even care about the violence. It's the sex." Jesus I'm like, "So you're Christ. you're fine with them stabbing somebody in the head, but he has a little sex with his fiance." <laughs> Yeah, that, now that's where the line's drawn. Yeah. This. Yeah. Fucking people. Which one do you rather have them uh, try to do on their own sometime? Would you rather have them try to stab somebody in the head or have sex with somebody? Yeah. That's, that's how the human race continues is by having sex because you have kids. Is that how it works? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, <coughs> stabbing somebody in the head goes the other direction. Yeah. Uh, that lowers the population. The system of checks and balances. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought that was interesting. But, but yeah, I, I also went to the store last week and I bought some Tide. And I got the Tide pods at home. Uh, and have, nope. you, have you managed to not eat them? I managed to not eat them, yeah. It's, it's tempting. I was going to say, it must be a struggle. Because they do look like candy. Yeah. And uh, they don't smell like candy, but they do look like it. But on the top of my, my you know, I, I call it a tied fish pole because it looks a little bit like a fish pole. Yeah. So it's got the tape across it telling me, you know, this for your child's protection. I don't have children, so fuck that. <laughs> so I, then I'm peeling this thing off, and it's not easy to peel off. Then you got to squeeze the thing a certain way and turn it to take the lid off. And then when you open it, there's a little thing going directly across in front of all of the pods telling me how I need to put the lid back on securely when I'm done. Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's called natural selection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, like, of all the dumb shit, I, eating Tide Pods. It doesn't even smell like that. Like you should eat it. It doesn't even look like it would taste good. No, it does not. Not in any way. But the smell definitely does not make me think, oh, my God, that's going to be good. I can't wait to eat that. Yeah. But like, all the challenges of all the dumb shit, that one I understand the least. Oh, yeah. What also reminds me, you know, because people eat the things like that, and they, they have to put safety things on it to keep people out of cabinets, keep people from eating different things that they're not supposed to eat. Yeah. Now, when I was in school, when I was in elementary school, yearly, there'd be at least one day of, the, uh, of class where they would let us know, don't get in these cabinets, don't eat these things. They may look like candy, but they're not candy. Don't eat them. And you know what? I never did. Yeah. Yeah, I never fucking chowed down on a handful of Comet. No. Like, I don't, it doesn't, no, it doesn't make sense. Never eaten any Drano. <clears throat> I don't know if you eat Drano. Well, well, they have the, yeah, drink Drano. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's, that's, that's really going to be bad for you. That's going <clears> to <throat> eat out your insides. Well, so here's my thing on that. Is because that's my favorite thing to to reference of like it's illegal to not wear a seatbelt. Yeah, but it's it's legal to drink Drano. Yeah, so it's not about safety; it's a revenue grab. Well, um, possibly yes, but they do put safety caps on Drano now. But I mean, it's not illegal to drink Drano. No, it's not illegal. But if you do it with the intent of killing yourself, then it's illegal because it's illegal to kill yourself. 
<laughs> I don't know how they can punish you it's, if you're successful. It's, yeah, it's only illegal if, just like yeah, a, if you fail. Just like overthrowing the government, it's only illegal if you fail. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, any talk of overthrowing the government is not necessarily the beliefs of <laughs> all parties. <laughs> Here's a disclaimer, Fed boys. <laughs> It was an example. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come knocking on my door asking about fucking... No no black Suburbans or sedans. <laughs> just, just an example. Yeah. I do laundry. Yeah. I, I, I had to do laundry last week, and I went to go do laundry, and I don't, see, I don't have a washer in my apartment. I have washers across the apartment, across yeah. the hall. So, um... When I'm going to go pick up laundry detergent, I, I check and I make sure there's no sound coming from the washer. That's one of the ways I know if it's being used or not. Yeah. So I get home, I get get all my stuff together, get my laundry detergent I just bought. I go out there to uh, do my laundry. This guy's been closed, has been sitting in the washer for a while. That smelled pretty bad. Well, no, it's just like it hadn't been running for a long uh. time. So I, I'm not happy. I mean, I can see he's even got like his... He's got like fabric softener sitting on a table. He's got detergent sitting on another thing. And like, this guy is like his, his own washing washing room, his own laundry room, and it's it's not. I assure you. So I had to go over the elevator and go to another floor to find one that was open. There's just one per floor, one washer, one dryer. Yeah. How many rooms? Like how There's many? Ten floors. No, but how many apartments per floor? Uh, probably eight. Oh, that's not horrible then. But I, uh, yeah. But um, you got the people that fucking do what, like a load every day kind of shit. I had to go up to the sixth floor. <laughs> I mean, I could have gone down to the fourth, I mean, but the sixth floor is where I ended up going, ended up being open. Nice. And when I got done, um, his stuff was finally in the dryer. <laughs> yeah, that was annoying. I only did, uh, I didn't do all my wash. I have a lot of clothes. I, I need that's, more than that's what happens when you have eight subscription services giving you clothes <laughs> and shoes. <laughs> Somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got to test these things out. <laughs> and uh, if one of those uh, clothing subscription things would like to sponsor, we'll talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from uh, from growing up, like it, it was always like sort out the like you sort out the the whites, the darks, mm-hmm. the. Like the not silk, but like the polyester, whatever. Yeah. Like everything different. And now I do one load. I'm not fucking splitting it. Well, I, I will separate the, like, I'm not going to put red and white together. I don't care. Um, I have enough pink shirts. I don't need to make my white shirts pink. <laughs> I, I, there's like, there's a pair of jeans I have that have a uh, natural dye. So I put those with dark things. Otherwise it's going to turn everything dark because hmm. it bleeds out. Yeah, like, well, I'll wash towels and it's on, it's on load, but clothes, uh, there's nothing special. Oh. Throw it in there. I mean, most of, most of my stuff is, the colors aren't going to be a problem, but my white shirts, yeah, I'll definitely do them, do them separately. I don't know that I have any white shirts. I have a few. That I don't, like, work in the garage in. <laughs> <laughs> so, those don't matter anyway. Yeah. I got a few from, you know. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I would imagine. Well, we've been talking twenty minutes. It's like forever because I'm tired. I know. <laughs> I do like your shirt today. Yeah, got it on Woot. I almost uh, wore a, a Star Star Wars shirt today, but I decided to go with, uh, some math humor again. Yeah, I think the world needs more math humor. It needs more something. Yeah. <laughs> Something that makes people laugh, that's what it really means. The world needs more humor, for Which sure. Which I did see something interesting. Um, apparently there's a, uh, a, I don't know if everybody's seen that the Wall Street Journal um, journalist has been uh, taken and is being held in Russia. Oh. Uh-huh. He's being accused of being a spy. And apparently a lot of people have have demanded him be released. He's He's being held in Russia... The Russians are accusing him of being a spy? Yes. For America, I would assume. 
Yeah. Well, no. Do the Wild World Wall Street they, Journal. Do they know what journalism is? Yeah. Yeah, they're supposed to report things. Because that's... Kind of like spying. Yeah, yeah, kind of, but out in the open. Yeah. But I just... They, they talk about this. All these people who are, who are calling for his release. And uh, the basketball player. She, she called for his release. Oh, like they got to do it then. No, that's what I said. I'm like, wow, she called for it. Well, fuck. Yeah. How about all the others? <clears throat> yeah, is the fucking Marine still over there? Yeah, the Marine's still over there. There's a lot of still over there. Yeah. But, you know, you know, she went over there with weed. Yeah. Knowing it's illegal, got arrested, and everybody out cried to get her out. Yep. But there are other people over there that... The first WNBA trade that was known. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The most publicized WNBA trade. Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing there probably has been others, but who cares? Yeah. WNBA. Well, and that's one of the things of I was seeing for a long time on Facebook was videos of, like, WNBA players, like, oh, we want to get paid more. We want to get paid. We want to like, get paid as even, much. Yeah. Like, on the same scale percentage-wise of what the guys do. Yeah, they want it for the merchandise and for everything. Yeah. Um. But they don't. WNBA doesn't make money. You see what they do is they're, they're saying um, they're saying to the people, you know, the people who are buying your jersey online and stuff. Yeah, they're your family members. They're getting discounts. We're not going to give you more money because your family's buying your shirt. Okay, <laughs> your friends and family are buying your shirt. That's it. Yeah, yeah. I I don't see a lot of people at at work or anywhere else with Wait. their favorite WNBA player on their shirt. I've seen maybe a, a handful my whole life. Although they may have be having a star going to the WNBA soon. And no, it's not Michael Jordan. He's not coming out of retirement to go play with them. <laughs> um, there's actually a player in, in Iowa uh, playing for the University of Iowa. She's actually a really good basketball player. Huh. Really, really good. Well, I don't think I've watched a full WNBA game before. I saw I bits of it. Yeah, I've, I've seen bits of my heads. I saw something on TV so there was basketball on, so I flipped yeah. to it, and I was like, this isn't basketball, and I changed the channel. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely a, a different pace than, yeah, it's different. than men's basketball, for sure. The it's, fundamentals. And like they said on, on uh, Futurama, they, they follow the fundamentals, so that makes up for not being able to dunk. <laughs> <laughs> the rim's bigger and the ball's smaller. Let me point that out first. The rim's bigger? Yeah. I knew the ball was smaller. I'd read that some. Well, maybe the rim's the same size, but the ball's smaller, so it seems bigger. Well, I mean, that is how size goes. Yeah. <laughs> so there's that. And I don't know. I think the champion <coughs> the champion of the uh, WNBA would probably get beat by any of the four teams in, uh, in the final four. Yeah. You know. Well, I mean, but equality. Yeah. <laughs> Well, they probably handicapped the men's team. By how? Giving them wheelchairs? Well, like when I was in high school, we had uh, my high school had two teams win state. The men, the boys, and the girls won state. And like the the boys, I think they were both like undefeated. It was a crazy season. And then they had a, an exhibition game between the two, and uh, the boys had to wear a boxing glove. A boxing glove. Yeah. On their dominant hand or their non-dominant hand? I, I don't remember which hand. I just, I didn't actually go see it. I just remember it happening. So much for equality. Yeah. That's what I mean by handicapping them. <laughs> yeah. That was a long time ago. But that was that was interesting to see. That's, that's one of my favorite things recently, too, is reading. It's fundamental. Um, like reading all the. The arguments and debates back and forth on like feminism, equality, this and that, mm-hmm. because there's normally somebody that brings up, oh, like you want equality, but how about the draft? Like women are going to be drafted too, and they're like no, no, oh, okay, so you don't want this, okay, you don't want this, you don't want this, but yeah. you want. I'm like that's just reading through comments and. It's always fucking great. Yeah. Like some some decent points on both sides. Oh, yeah, of and course. And then just some wild fucking comments. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, somebody will come out with something that will blow everybody's mind. 
Yeah. Where did you come up with that? <laughs> oh, I, I got a response from Winco. About the bathroom? Yeah. <laughs> I sent him, because it was disgusting. It was so dirty. <laughs> what did they say? Sorry, we'll clean it. Sorry, we'll look into that type thing. Yeah. That's it, no. Yeah. But, I mean, I, there was garbage all over the place. It was just <laughs> filthy. And the bathroom stalls didn't have a have locks on two of the three. Two of the three. Yeah. Well, Why you, do you not want locks on your doors? You said you thought you saw shit smeared on the wall. Oh, yeah, it looked like shit on this wall. It definitely <laughs> looked like shit on the wall. The bathroom stunk, so you couldn't tell if it was coming from that wall or yeah. from someplace else. That's I've been wondering, because there's a couple bathrooms at work yeah. that smell so fucking bad. Yeah. But not like shit. Like, it's... It smells like extremely unwashed genitals. Yeah. How fucking bad does it have to smell that it lingers that fucking much in the bathroom? That's a good question. Like taking a shit doesn't fucking linger that bad. No. But I've been like, in that. I've been what one are of those, they doing? I've been in one of those bathrooms. I said to somebody else, I'm like, it smells like a fucking outhouse in there. I would prefer an outhouse smell. And they're like, they're like, um, yeah, and it's a bathroom. The smell of dick like, Yeah, but um, it shouldn't smell like an outhouse. <laughs> yeah. I mean, an indoor bathroom should not smell like an outhouse. Yeah. I. I it shouldn't, but. And it shouldn't smell like dick cheese either. <laughs> or citrus and dick cheese. Oh, uh, yeah, it's, I think, I think they might have stopped using that fucking. No. That same five-gallon bucket of. Of orange peels and piss. Yeah, no, I think they they were using it again last week because I smelled it. Oh, uh, I haven't smelled yeah, it. But he didn't have it in a bucket; he had a spray bottle. <laughs> <laughs> spray the fucking spray all over the ground, walking around, and then just drag him up across it. He just I got, I got a bucket of orange peels, and I got to take a piss, and I got to clean the windows. <laughs> what am I going to do? Not put them together? Exactly. You got to fill the bottle up. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Hope you had a funnel. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. You would assume it wouldn't fit. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, he's peeing in the bucket of orange peels and then pouring in a spray bottle. Oh, see, I was just thinking peeing into the spray bottle. Yeah. No, oh, he could have done that, too. <laughs> yeah, it probably about the, <clears throat> probably got about the same, uh, that bottle over there, your screen cleaner. Yeah. So he probably fit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, which one? Last week I was at uh, Maverick before coming here, and okay. the guy, the guy there, I was, I'd said something to him, and he responded with, uh, "Oh, nice." I didn't get that. Uh, can you can you repeat that again, though, uh, in English? <laughs> <laughs> can you repeat that in words, <laughs> or write it down? <laughs> X's won't do. You can't just put a bunch of X's on. I'm not going to know what that means. <laughs> what if he just wrote in squiggles, too? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Have a good day. Thanks. You, you must be the teacher in Charlie Brown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get in three. I got the number in there, so he should be able to discern that I want yeah. pump three, you know. Hopefully. Yeah, you got to hope. What, three somethings? But he said more than one thing to me, and it was all just grunts and moans. Uh, not moans, but grunts. It was a. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? How did you get through the interview? Because, like, when I go to interviews to get a job, they ask me questions, and yeah. I answer them. Maybe he just showed up, and he just started ringing shit in. <laughs> <laughs> I tell the people at work all the time. I'm like, yeah, jokes on you. I don't actually even work here. I just show up and started doing it. Nobody stopped me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that's happened oh, at sure. many a fucking place. I'm sure because it's people are oblivious. Yeah. You walk around like you own the place. Nobody says anything. You just walk in the back of Walmart. Oh yeah. <laughs> I saw where some guy walked out of Kmart with a with golf clubs under his arm, and nobody stopped him. 
And I told you about when I went to the Billboard Music Awards. I, w- I didn't want to walk all around the MGM Grand. I went in through the entrance I wasn't supposed to go through. I was right over by the red carpet. Nice. Yeah. Well, and, then, and then I was in, and I was right in the area where all the E! Entertainment people were at. <laughs> and people were, like, taking pictures of them, getting their autograph, and I'm walking past, and I saw a couple of people that are like, they're pointing me like, who's he? Do you want to get his autograph? <laughs> no, you don't. You can't afford it. Um, there's been a couple times, either SEMA or CES, walking around Vegas, because I normally park in a certain area mm-hmm. that's free, and then walk 15-ish minutes to, to get there. And the quickest way is to cut through the wind golf course. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it might not be the wind, but there's a, there's the wind's a, golf, a good golf course. There's a golf course right there. I think it might be the wind. And, uh, they aren't supposed to just let anybody in, yeah. but several doors were open. So I just walked through and like, whatever. Yeah. That's and a private club. I'm, yeah. But I'm already like halfway across. Like it's, it's not a, I just stepped in like look around yeah. and they're like, what, what are you doing? What are you doing here? I'm like, oh, I'm just walking across to the convention center. You can't, you can't walk through here. I'm like, oh, I, nobody said anything when I waved at them when I walked through the doors. Which a lie. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, oh, you're just going right there. I'm like, yeah. They're like, okay, go ahead. Thanks. Have a good day. <laughs> what do you do when you get to the convention center? You find something heavy to pick up, and you just throw it on your shoulder, and you walk in, and nobody will stop you. They'll be like, oh yeah, he's he's working. Get out of his way. <laughs> Just a safety vest and a ladder. Yeah. Get you anywhere. Yeah, it'll get you a lot of places. Yep. I mean, um, it might not get you to say, I don't know, presidential debate, but it might get you into a convention. <laughs> <laughs> get you to movie theaters. Yeah. There was a, a guy on, I don't know if it's Facebook or YouTube, uh, that was doing that, like, to see how many places he could get in with a safety vest and a ladder. Yeah. Like, movie theater was easy. It wasn't even a maybe. Yeah. They're just, like, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> like, because clearly you have stuff to do. Yeah. And it's important because you have a safety vest on. Yeah. And a ladder. Yeah. You got the, you got a double, double team there. You the important tall shit to do. Get out of my yeah. way. <laughs> Probably changing light bulbs, you know. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. yeah, every so often I'll, I'll find myself in places I'm really not supposed to be, but if you act like you belong, I'll just stop you. Yeah. And it often gets you asked questions like, you work there. Yeah. Like how many times I've gotten asked in Target or Walmart or anywhere just because I walk around like I own the place. I, I, was, I was in a park. Excuse me, do you know where? Like, I don't work here. It's in aisle five. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I had, I remember I was, I was in a store and I was picking up food to bring back to the restaurant I worked at. Yeah. And unfortunately, the grocery store I was at, at the time, wore red polos. And I was wearing a red polo for the place I worked at. <laughs> of course, the logo on them were completely different. But this person comes up to me and is like, where do I find whatever? And I'm, I don't know. Like, don't you work here? No. <laughs> Somebody else comes up to me and is asking me, this is this is on one trip. How much does this cost? I don't know. What sounds good to you? I, uh, <laughs> pay what you think. I don't know. <laughs> pay what you can. Uh, you know, I'm like, I'm, I, know, I, I know exactly where what I'm looking for is, and I go right to it. <laughs> And it's not, it's not because I worked there, it's because I've been there before. Yeah. And plus, they always have the, in the aisles, they have these little things above them. It tells you what's in those aisles. So, like, let's say you're looking for I pasta. I don't think I've ever seen those before. You're looking for pasta. Where? <laughs> <laughs> you look for the thing that says pasta is in that aisle, and you go get your pasta. Yeah. Just, just an example. I mean, like, every now and then there's an issue of, like, why doesn't anybody fucking have apple butter up here in Reno? Well, yeah, but that's that's not that you don't know where it's at in the aisle. It's a, they don't have it in the aisle, and they should. Yeah, but it's also, like, it should be next to peanut butter, but it can also be, like, four other places. Oh, yeah. And, but it should be in one of them, at least. And also, I've never known, 
barbecue sauce to be seasonal. No, me either. That's that's weird to me. What the fuck? You should be able to get barbecue sauce all year long. Yeah. Because there's more than one use for it. It's not just for barbecuing and ribs and Yeah, and there's And you can of make of all the parks that I've been to up here, none of them have grills. Like the parks in Vegas all have grills. I know there's one park near me that has grills. I haven't seen But one. yeah, but you should be able to use barbecue sauce for many different things. Yeah, like crock pot, chicken, brisket, any, anything, yeah. yeah. Everything. Don't even fucking Nope. Only during the summer. Yeah, that doesn't make sense to me. That was like, because I moved up here in November of 18 and we went to go get barbecue sauce. And they're like, they're like no, it's not in season. I'm like, what do you mean? That's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm sorry. No, I asked for barbecue sauce. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm like. I'm not trying to buy a kite in winter. What? Like, it's fucking not in season. <laughs> like, it's a fucking sauce. It's not a strawberry. I'm not trying to buy swim trunks in, in, in December. Yeah, it's not a fucking fruit that oh, can't pick it. It's a fucking sauce. Yeah. That can be made all year long. <laughs> and stay on the shelf all, all year long. long. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so. Uh, I don't know. Reno special. I can't, think, I can't think of any other sauce that's seasonal. Yeah, nope. You're not like you're in August saying, I need to get some eggnog. Yeah, like, I wish eggnog was year-round. I'm sure no. there's places you can find it year-round, but... I don't know that I can do it. Eggnog's fucking great. I like uh, pumpkin spice eggnog. That's pretty good. I had uh, a boss who made me... Um, he made me a milkshake. Well, eggnog shake, because instead of using milk, he used pumpkin spice eggnog with the vanilla ice cream, and it was... Fucking amazing. That'd be pretty good. Yeah, but his uh, his milkshakes were they were heavy. They were really good though, because <laughs> um, like he wouldn't use milk in when there wasn't eggnog available. He would use heavy cream. It was insane. Well, heavy cream isn't not bad for you. No, but it's heavy. Yeah, and it's cream. <laughs> But it was really good in a milkshake. <clears> that sounds like it would be. It brought uh, everybody to the yard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was not good. No. <laughs> <laughs> I felt I had to say it, though. Fucking whole back and neck and shoulders are still crunchy as shit. Not in a great way, because I still can't get certain things to pop. Speaking of crunchy, that reminds me. I meant to grab. I told you about the Japanese crackers. Yeah. I had. I still have two packages left of them. There's just two crackers. I was going to grab it and bring it to you today, and I forgot to put it in my hoodie on the way out the door. So when I'm on the elevator, and it's already almost down to the bottom <clears throat> basement. I'm not yeah. going back. This is not <laughs> happening. I can bring them to you another time. Damn. I completely <laughs> forgot about them. Now I looked. I saw them. Then my dog wanted attention as I was leaving. <laughs> she wanted to give me a hug. She jumps up to give me a hug. Adorable. <laughs> Except for when her paws hit you in sensitive areas. <laughs> She's not a light dog. It's not like a chihuahua, you know? Yeah. When I did have a chihuahua, when I'd get home from anywhere, work, going to the store, going to the laundry room, yeah. I'd open the door, she'd be at the door, and if I did not pick her up as soon as I walked in the door. She would bark until I picked her up. The fucking meat boot. So I I, uh, I got to the habit of when I'd get home, especially from work, as soon as I'd open the door, I'd just already be kneeling, uh, just bending down to pick her up, <laughs> just just to keep the barking from happening. Yeah. I mean, I was going to pick her up anyway. But. That's that's pretty extreme, though. That's another reason that I don't like chihuahuas. Oh, this dog was amazing. <laughs> Both of my chihuahuas were amazing. See, people who don't like chihuahuas have never had one. I've... I had friends with them and spent time around it's them. It's a little different to have one than to have friends I with them. I will not have one. I would have another one. I love them. No. The dog would sleep on my chest while I was playing PlayStation or Xbox, whatever game I'm playing. Cats do that, too. Yeah, I like cats, too. <laughs> my dog's like a cat dog. That's what I used to call her. Because <laughs> she would very much at times act like a cat. <coughs> Jesus Christ. 
notification about jeans. <laughs> Another subscription? <laughs> no. No, they're just trying to tell me about a sale. Uh, it's a brand I've never had before. I saw a cool pair, though, recently. Uh, I saw it on their website. was tempted, but I didn't buy them. But they, uh, the, they, they, had, they, they had me in mind because these jeans, they show the person wearing the jeans, and then they have shoes on, too. Yeah. And these jeans happen to, I mean, the, the shoes they had on, happen to be one of the kinds of Jordans that I already have. So they went really well together. And I'm like, well, yeah, you guys are really pushing to get me to get these jeans at this yeah. point. They know their market. Yeah. So I've actually worn the pair over here. They're the, they're the red and black one, red, black, and white. Oh, okay. Yeah, and the jeans were black with red stitch. That's cool. Yeah. The email I got said uh, all these jeans were for under $99. Oh, 98 97 No, I actually clicked on one. I'm like, you know when you um, say it's under $99? Ninety nine fifty. That's not under ninety nine dollars. <laughs> That's technically over ninety nine dollars. They meant under a hundred. I don't know. I mean, some of them were under. Like the pair I just mentioned, those were under. Jesus Christ! And it was more than a dollar under. <laughs> <laughs> I hate when they do that. Under ninety nine. Here, ninety eight dollars. Well, I'm in the the ninety nine cent store, like. You know everyone thinks it's a dollar store with that name. Yeah. So it's just everything ends in 99 cents. How about five below? 99 cents, 199, 499, 599, 999. As long as it ends in 99, it belongs in a 99-cent store. Have you uh, been to five below, though? Yeah. Yeah. It's way too bright. We've got some good stuff. Way too bright in that store. The candy aisle is pretty good. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to go in there. Like, they've got earbuds and earphones. Yeah. I, something about that just doesn't sound right to me. I don't think they're going to be that good. Doesn't sound right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's the problem. That's what doesn't sound right. It's the sound quality coming out of those things. It would be nice if they had one of those when I was going to college. By below. Because a lot of nice shit in there of, like, just to have around the apartment or yeah. have... Like stock up or do this or do that. They do have some unique items there. Yeah. That's the t-shirts there, too. Of course, not in my size. <laughs> I run into that a lot. Even Hot Top Spencer's. I'll have a cool shirt. I'll be like, fuck, I want that shirt. They just not have sure. extra small and small. Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> I've seen that. Or Schmedium. Yeah. Um, there was one day I went to Spencer's. They had buy four, get one free. I actually found four shirts, five shirts that fit me. I was like, holy shit. Nice. So I had to buy five shirts that day. <laughs> had to. It's like catching a unicorn. If you see one, you don't, you're not going to let it go. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's somebody out there who knows because he's been to the mall with me, and he uh, he listened to the show, and he's, he's seen my pain. And now he told me recently he's experiencing it because he's finding a lot of shirts that don't fit him, too. Oh. Yeah. That's what you get from making fun. <laughs> making fun of people. You get it. It's karma. Yeah. Not caramel. Karma. What? I, don't know. I like caramel, so I had to throw that in there. <laughs> I had some Werther's here today. What are you, fucking 90? <laughs> the soft Werther's. They're, they're good. The Werther's Originals? Are you, fucking 90? <laughs> <laughs> Have you had the soft ones? That is the most old people candy I know. that I have but that's ever a hard fucking candy. seen. That's the hard candy. I don't think I've had a soft one, no. Oh, they're good. I'll believe you. I had a caramel apple one for a while, too. <laughs> I haven't had a caramel apple one forever. Like just going through old people homes, just robbing the candy bowls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to eat it. Have you ever noticed how they just stick together and you got a big glob? Somebody's got to help them out. Make room for some other candy to get stuck to it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I want to go to Virginia City again soon. Because they make the caramel right there. And then they dip the apples in it right in front of you. Huh. Well, and they also have... Uh, when it stops snowing. And they also have peanut brickle. But they also have different types. Of, like there, like there's a macadamia nut brickle. Huh. A cashew brickle. I want the cashew. You're saying brickle? Brittle. 
Riddle? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, maybe he's talking about something else. <laughs> but cashews are great. Macadamia nuts are great. You can do something other than peanut. It's, it's, it's got to be tried. And mm-hmm. you like spicy. You can get a jalapeno. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> they have it. Get a jalapeno. <laughs> I saw it there. The grocery stores have them too. <laughs> I don't have to go to Virginia City to get a jalapeno. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Put it in the candy. <laughs> oh, you see, you didn't say that. <laughs> you just said they have a jalapeno. <laughs> One. I say, <laughs> I say you can get jalapeno. Is it a jalapeno flavor? Oh, yeah. Also, no. <laughs> yeah. I think the people that do like the jalapeno fucking mango beer, mango habanero beer, like that. Just stop it. They had, they had no ice cream. No fucking reason for that. They had ice cream in there. It was really good, too. A whole lot of flavors. Jalapeno? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> they had a coffee flavor ice cream there, too. Coffee ice cream is so good. Some is. I had some recently that was um, less than um, exciting. The one that they used to have at the station casinos was definitely not the best, but better than, better than vanilla. Well, I liked... Um, Ben and Jerry's had the coffee, coffee, buzz, buzz, buzz. That was the name of it. I'm not making it up. It's a real thing. And it was coffee ice cream with uh, espresso chunk, chocolate chunks. Amazing. That sounds pretty good. But I had a uh, coffee brownie recently that was less than good. I mean, it wasn't great. It was okay. I've been extremely disappointed by brownies all the time. Like, oh, get a brownie at Porticeps or get a brownie at... Porticeps, I had a good one recently. But it's... Most of the time, it's like, oh, yeah, it's okay, but it's not... I think it's chocolate chips in it. Yeah, but it, <laughs> they should taste way fucking Jersey better. Mike's used to have really good brownies. They My should taste way me. better. Um, yeah, well, the Jersey Mike's, like I said, used to have really good brownies. They used to have really good cookies, too. Yeah. Now they're prepackaged. They're not even baked there anymore. Fucking COVID. Maybe they couldn't stand the heat. Yeah. <laughs> Chili got out of the kitchen. <coughs> exactly. Out of the oven. Oh, my eye is bugging me. Ever since we started laughing about jalapenos. <laughs> I didn't put one in my eye. How do you know? I, I would know if I put a jalapeno <laughs> in my eye. I think I would hope I would know. I'm, I'm pretty sure you would know. Or what I've gotten it. The candy store. <laughs> oh. Jalapeno. It's stuck to the bottom of the table. Stuck to some gum. That's not where you keep them? Uh, <laughs> no. I keep them on shoes. Well, if you want, we're at 53 minutes, so we can just wrap up. Um, If you're ready to wrap up, we can wrap up. I can't think of anything else, so. All right. Um, It looks like we got video and audio issues all sorted out, so. Hopefully that fingers continues. crossed, and uh, yeah. So thanks for dealing with late episodes and dumb shit that we've had to do. So uh, follow us on Facebook and Instagram, some offense intended. Um, Twitter, some offense pod, and please like, subscribe, and share. Check out the merch on the website, some offense intended podcast dot com. Yeah, and we'll see you next time. Good boy. Why isn't it stopping? <laughs>